Greetings, I'm Mark Evanier, that's Sergio Aragonis, and we're here to answer more of your questions that you submitted to us on www.gru.com. Our first question, sir, comes from Patrick W. Stafford. So this is a long one. Hello, I have been watching your interviews with Sergio Aragonis. What an amazing man. I am a huge fan of the Savage Sword of Conan. That's how I first found Gru. Little did I know that would lead me to becoming a huge fan of Gru. I would look for his comic every time it came out, and still today I have all the ones I bought. Anyway, I'm at work and writing this from my memory. I love the comic that was done with the minstrel. The one I specifically remember was a fabulous comic. I still remember a line, to tell the one you truly love is not a skill or art. Just open up and sing to them directly from the heart. Ah. Not, sure, not sure if that is exactly correct. Anyway, my question is, who was in charge of the songs that the minstrel sang? Did he borrow the songs or did he write them himself? The last part of my question is, is it possible to get a drawn picture of Gru and the minstrel in indie ink? Thanks for a million for your time. Uh, Sergio, who wrote the songs in those uh, comics? Monsieur Evanier. Oh, yes, that's right. I write the songs that make the whole world sing. And I wouldn't be able... English is my third language. I, I barely can put two and two together in, in English. So um, from the beginning, Mark has been not, not only generous, but so fantastic uh, collaboration with me. Gru is funny, but Gru world, every word that is in it comes this, this side. Well, how how you point at you from here? Well, <laughs> it comes from Mark. You are, you, I have never that. been able to. You are not looking at a mirror. This is the tendency. You think you're looking at a mirror and you're not. Yeah, this is very weird because I want to point at you there and you are not there. You you have to be there. That's right. See? But That's... anyway, Mark, over there, my dearest friend, is an amazing poet, an amazing writer, and he has an incredible memory. So all those combined and the love for the craft makes... Uh, Everything that he does is exceptional, and, and not only with with Groove, but with everything that he does, it comes so natural to him. So everything that a mistral does, that's his words, that's his poetry, every rhyme, every spelling, because I call him every 10 minutes, how you spell Bonaventure or whatever it is. Well, no, not that one, because that's from French, but uh, a lot of words that I don't know how to spell, but Mark does. Well, Mark yeah. does that. Yeah, yeah, yes, that I, write, I, I write songs that also, if you if you have a, um, a Roku TV, oh. um, there's a that's channel cool. now on Pluto TV, which is 24-7 runs cartoon shows that I wrote. It's the Garfield and Friends channel. I wrote or co-wrote all the episodes on that channel. They run. The, I can actually turn on this channel anytime I want and see something I wrote, and they run them over and over again. And I'm going to. They're going to pay me soon for that usage, and I'm going to maybe be able to afford a Snickers bar with the money I'm going to make off that. But you'll hear a lot of songs on the show, and either I wrote them or a lady named Desiree Goyette wrote them, with a fellow named Ed Bogus and. Uh, Anyway, let's take it. Oh, and I'll answer the other part of his question. Um, Sergio does do commission drawings. He does them on convention at convention appearances, and he does them by mail, email arrangements. And uh, one of these days on www.gru.com, we will post the information on how to. Yes, because my daughter, since uh, since the pandemic, uh, I everything that I did in in at the convention, signing, selling uh, original artwork, and making commissions for people that like, uh, she's taking care of it, and she takes care of it. And um, I think you you know what the email is something, no? Oh, um, that's we won't give it out here. We'll put it on www.grew.com. But do you have a commission handy that you've done recently? Is there a drawing around there that you yes. did in the last? Yeah, it's, it's one. It's a, what's a very simple. That's a very simple one. Wow. Sure. Okay. <laughs> and uh, she has all the all the commissions right now, uh, because what I do is I do them. She takes care of, of mailing them and taking care of. I have some that I'm penciling. 
I got a very good commission about a guy who who wanted grew in the world of art, and so he had suggested uh, the melting clocks from Salvador Dali. So I told him that I would, I didn't talk, but my daughter explained it to him that um, I don't do that type of anachronism. He wouldn't believe belong in a in a place where clocks existed, watches and things like that. So I suggested. Hieronymus Bosch, which is one of the fantastic, the best artists of the 14th century. He influenced Dali, he influenced everybody of the surrealist world. And if you don't know about Hieronymus Bosch, you have to look for it on the internet. He's just amazing. And this is the, 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 the first part that I sent to him for him to, to see. There is Gru in the, at the bottom, in the middle, fighting all these absurd creatures from Jeronimus Bosch. Uh, in Spanish, we call it El Bosco. And then uh, I'm, I'm working on it right now. And it's an 11 by 17. And uh, I have all the, I took the books and blow them up, took pictures, put them in the internet. And I look at all the figures. And this will take a long time. But, yeah, it'll uh, take you. It'll take you twenty minutes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> but right. yes, yes, that does. So that's uh, that's part. Besides, uh, I'm working on uh, the, the, the next set of grooves for after Gru, uh the Gods Against Gru, which is another four issues after the end of Tarzan, and then I work in the new one, which uh, we'll talk about that much later. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, we're out of time for this. We'll be doing another one of these now, and you'll see it on a couple of weeks. Thank you, and uh, submit your questions at, at www.gru.com, and the address to write to to get a commission from Sergio will be up there in a couple of weeks. He's got he's got a backlog, so we, we're not going to write it. But but uh, when you can order a, one from, a drawing from Sergio, uh, that website will tell you how to order it. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.